All right, Marissa, thank you so much. Nearly 200,000 new COVID-19 cases have popped up in the U.S. in the past day alone. The CDC now warning Americans not to travel for Thanksgiving. And starting Saturday, more than 90% of Californians will be under curfew. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze has more on the restrictions and those residents are being asked to follow. With coronavirus cases and hospitalizations accelerating in every state, the CDC now forecasts an additional 46,000 Americans could die from COVID-19 by December 12th, bringing the potential death toll to a staggering 298,000 people. We know every day we come into work, it's going to be one of the worst days we've had. At the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, doctors and nurses are getting called out of retirement. There comes a point where our healthcare system stretches and eventually it breaks. And when that happens, it's too late. Amid the crisis, the White House Coronavirus Task Force briefed reporters for the first time since July. Dr. Anthony Fauci touted the effectiveness and safety of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. So we need to put to rest any concept that this was rushed in an inappropriate way. This is really solid. But with the vaccine still months away from most Americans, the nation's biggest hospital groups are out with a new ad begging the public to do their part now and wear a mask. Several governors echoing that call. Mask up, Illinois. Mask up, Ohio. Mask up, Indiana. Yet a handful of states like South Dakota, where cases are up 400% in the past two months, are still resisting mask mandates. With new restrictions in place across the country, the CDC is now telling Americans not to travel for Thanksgiving and to avoid big family gatherings. Some governors writing in an op-ed, as hard as it will be not to see them this Thanksgiving, imagine how much harder it would be if their chairs are empty next year. There are signs Americans are heeding this advice. United, American, and Southwest are all reporting a spike in cancellations for Thanksgiving travel. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.